Okay, so the question I was asked is what happens, come here, uh, what happens, you put the climate control on remotely, um, because uh, Sarge wrote to me saying that his doesn't pump out hot air, just cold air. Well, I can tell you Sarge, it is warm in here. I would say it's hot. It's been on for about two minutes probably, but it is warm. Let me just see if I can, yeah, no, it's definitely, yeah, pumping it hot air. Feel it down by the foot well. It's, well, it's medium air. It's not hot, but it's not cold either. So there's your answer. Turning it on remotely gives me hot air. It's set at 20.5 degrees C. Um, yeah, 20.5 degrees C, that's what it's set at. So that is your answer, I think. I don't know if um, you've got it set lower or what, or perhaps it was just dodgy, maybe. I haven't changed any settings, it's all the standard, so uh, just as I got the leaf. Hope that answers your question. Okay, this is the figure for today. We've had the heating on just to do a quick test, but it was only on for about 10 minutes, but that's brought it down to 98%. Um, and there we go. That's where we are today at the start of it. It's gonna be a short day today. We'll be going down um, to mum and dad's in Newant and back again, most likely. And that's all we're gonna be most likely doing. Maybe not, maybe we'll, don't know. Okay, you've got a bit of a power cut. It's reduced voltage is the best way to describe it. The car is still showing its charger, which is interesting. Nope. Very interesting, considering we can't get lights to go on full at the house. We only get like half voltage. Bulbs are very dim, in other words. But this is it's charging. It's all okay. And I'll try and show you if, put, if this bulb works in here. So that's the brightness we get the bulb, which is about half of the usual bright. I can't really tell on this phone. I'll try and take a photo of it, see if it works better. But it's half the voltage, basically. But the car is still charging. This makes me think, if I turn the car off, will the voltage change on this? It does a little bit. <laughs> Nothing major though. Turn it back on. I think it's still charging. But as you can hear, probably, a terrible storm. We've got some real bad weather recently. Really bad. But even so, reduced power, it seems to be charging up okay so uh, we should leave that as it is I think it's probably really really trickle charging there so mm, very dim bulb you can kind of make it out there should be much brighter than that but yeah car seems to be working okay so I shall leave it okay what I've done is I've put the charge back on um, on a schedule so it's coming on at 12.30 a.m. And it does that flashing thing when it's on. So it's not actually charging. It's all plugged in and turned on, but it's not charging. Now, someone pointed out on the internet that there's actually, I questioned earlier, how do you turn it off? Because it's a bit inconvenient if you have to edit the schedule each time. Well, apparently you can press this button here. So I'm going to press that and see what happens. Okay, and that gets it charging straight away. So the question is, if I press it again, will it turn it off? No. So once you've pressed that button, it is charging then. Okay, that answers that little question for everyone.